The Church in Iraq, its history, development, and mission from its origin to the present day. That's the title of the latest book by Cardinal Fernando Filoni, in which he asks this question. Will there be a better future for this country and its people? It's a phrase at the conclusion of the book, and one which is currently an open question that regards, in particular, the fate of one of the oldest Christian communities in the world today, decimated by continuing violence. Peace is at the heart of the entire question. If there were peace, these people would not be leaving. Wars and violence had forced the people to seek refuge and respect for rights they do not have in their own country. Cardinal Filoni was nuncio in Baghdad during the U.S. invasion of 2003. He refused to leave the country even as the bombs rained down from the skies continuously. He says that, strangely, the international community is both the cause and the solution to the problem in the Middle East. Who should pursue peace? It can't be one person, one group, one government. It should be everyone's job. Cardinal Filoni maintains frequent contact with the Iraqi church and has visited the country twice since the arrival of Islamic State and the forced exodus of thousands of Christians. The refugees have everything they need materially, but they're faced with a worsening reality. We're talking about thousands of people living in precarious conditions. It's not like the first moments of the crisis when they fled, but it's even more precarious in terms of the near future. He says that without a doubt he would return to Iraq if the Pope asked him to do so. He says that Pope Francis himself wants to personally offer the persecuted Christians there his comfort and support. Pope Francis has promised this, but he's not said when this will take place. Hopefully one day it can happen. But with the present reality of war, that day seems to be far off.